There's some bad news in Texas public schools. It's April 26, 2024, and these are your headlines. Well, this episode is going to be a little bit different. We have three different stories talking about what's been happening inside of Texas government-run public schools. The first, three Texas teachers in three days were arrested this week and charged with sex crimes involving students. Ernest Herrera was arrested Monday after he admitted to sexual contact with a 13-year-old student, claiming they had developed a relationship. Herrera taught social studies at Southside Independent School District's La Soya Middle School in San Antonio. He was charged with improper relationship between educator and student, a second-degree felony, punishable by 2 to 20 years in prison. Andrew McCown was arrested Wednesday and charged with having an improper relationship with a 17-year-old female student. He's a math teacher and football coach at Roosevelt High School in San Antonio's Northeast ISD. He was reportedly placed on leave in March and will be terminated. By the way, McCown was arrested in 2022 for drunk driving while he was a teacher and coach at Robinson ISD. Another football coach, Perryton ISD Athletic Director Cole Underwood, was arrested Wednesday and charged with sexual assault of a child, a second-degree felony. The alleged victim is a Perryton High School student, reportedly a 14-year-old girl. On Tuesday, Mansfield ISD fired a Timberview High School teacher accused of sexual misconduct with students. No charges have been filed yet, but trustees said they terminated the unnamed teacher out of an abundance of caution. Mansfield ISD police are investigating the allegations. Texas Scorecard has reported on dozens, maybe hundreds now, of teachers charged with sex crimes involving students. And we will continue. And in an update to one of those stories, after a Houston teacher was arrested and jailed for allegedly sex trafficking three students, a Harris County judge has lowered her bond. Keidra McMath Grigsby, who worked in the Klein Independent School District, appeared in court this week facing charges of three counts of trafficking a child and three counts of compelling prostitution of children under the age of 18. During the hearing, presiding judge Melissa Morrison decided to lower Grisby's bond from $125,000 to $75,000 for each of the six felony charges. Her total bond amount then dropped from $750,000 down to $450,000. As we reported, Grigsby worked at Klein High School as a cosmetology teacher. She was accused of helping her son force troubled teens from the school into prostitution. The three students were ages 15, 16, and 17 and were reportedly runaways. Well, after Grigsby was arrested, Klein ISD immediately placed her on administrative leave and wrote a message to parents saying they have no intention of allowing her back into Klein, uh, into Klein ISD or any Klein ISD school. They've been called the Texas Kingmakers. They're the biggest political force in the Lone Star State. And most Texans have no idea who they are, what they want, or even that they exist. Hubris, the Texas Keen Makers, a documentary by Texas Scorecard, now streaming on all major platforms. Last up, Conroe Independent School District trustees are facing pushback from parents regarding a book that contains an online resource that was caught pushing children to change their gender without parental consent. State Representative Steve Toth drew attention to this book, Lily and Duncan, is what it's called, earlier this week, pointing out that at the end of the book, on page 335, it highlights the Trevor Project's Trevor Chat resource. We'll talk more about that in a second. You should know this book is available in high school and junior high school libraries to students as young as seventh grade. Conroe ISD, quote, now provides a resource guide to help your child to change gender without your knowledge. Representative Toast said, so very thoughtful of them. Now, who's the Trevor Project? Well, they're a nonprofit organization that claims their goal is to prevent suicide among LGBTQ plus youth all year round. However, the group's Trevor Chat resource, which can be accessed without parental consent, has come under fire for the conduct of some of its administrators. Essentially, it's an online feature where young people can go and be coerced into gender mutilation procedures by adults who are essentially strangers on the internet. Now, a motion by the Conroe ISD School Board to remove the book failed 
three two three two one. Conroe ISD's decision to keep the book in school libraries comes as the board is also considering new bylaws regarding its school health advisory committee that can prevent individuals fighting questionable books in the district from serving on the panel. For more of today's stories, go to texasscorecard.com.